Naples has this wonder for people because of its magnificence. However, with a modern day encroachment, um, that sense of true awe um, can get evaporated and lost. Jose Maria Aredia, two hundred, almost 200 years ago, experienced it in a way that he made it immortal because he wrote a poem that to this day is on the lips of every single Cuban. And for them, there's a cultural connection that is deeper uh, than centuries. Jose Maria Heredia came from a family of extreme privilege, committed completely to the colonial regime in Spain. Uh, this is in Cuba in the 1820s. And his father was a magistrate who ordered many punishments for any kind of uprisings. And those punishments were, executions were brutal. He had the courage to stand up and say, men are equal. He knew what would have happened to him um, by speaking out, and yet he couldn't stop himself. I, I had been to Niagara Falls once, years ago, and then I saw it and I thought, oh, that's pretty, you know, and now and then I read the poem and started experiencing the, the, the actual play, and then when I saw it again, it was definitely a different experience, and for me, I saw, but, but for me, I saw, I see Niagara Falls almost like a mirror, and it forces you, and this is what happened to Edith, yeah, it forces you, and it forced him to look at himself in the mirror, and actually have to answer the question, what has become of me? And I always think that the best uh, works is when you go to see something and you, you go as a person and you come out as a different person. You recognize something in the story because I think we, we go to, theory, to a theater to see universal stories. So I would hope to, for people to just go out and, you know, maybe look for the poem and want to read it, or maybe go to Niagara Falls again and see it with different eyes. Maybe uh, just be nicer to their partners. <laughs> that might be a big dream. I don't know. But anyway, just to have some sort of transformation.